Hello, I'm Una. You're very welcome to my channel. This video is very heavily inspired by Laura Basson and her love of geometric design. I hope you'll be inspired by this video and that you might like to try it too. It's great fun and it's very simple technique. The card base I'm using is actually started life as, as a real card base, but it, there was a flaw in it. So what I like to do is not waste and uh, trim it down and use it as a panel. The die I used to create the squares is this window die. And so it produces a window and the squares. And I put two windows together in order to make a frame for myself, a sort of stencil so that I could get very good placement with my squares. So I adhered the two of those together and then used them on my card, like I say, as a template or a stencil for perfect placement. The cards, the cardstock I'm using is um, three sheets from a, a Crillando coloured card pad. I don't end up using the peach one. So with removable tape, I adhere down the, the panel and then I check my measurements to make sure that I'll fit three of them down the length of the card. And I reckon I'll, ha I'll get perfect spacing by starting here. And so I start applying the glue into the sections in the stencil and then apply the, the squares. I leave it in while I'm doing this first one. I'll speed through the rest, but I thought you might like to see how it worked. So then I remove the stencil carefully and gently press it down and put some blocks on top until it dries. So then I measure, well, first I'm checking that the stencil is in exactly the same place. So I use the T ruler to check and the end panel there wasn't quite right. So I was able to hold it down in position and use a bit of post-it tape to hold it down. And so off I went again and adhered down all the squares. This was really easy to do like fitting pieces into a jigsaw. So that's panel number two done and number three. I created a new stencil. I had damaged the original one, but I had plenty of windows. So just made another template or stencil. And now my panel was finished, just removing a bit of glue there with my mono eraser. And I was really pleased with this. For embellishments, I decided to create these little squares. And I'll show you now how I made one of those. This is a mini die cutting machine that I bought recently in my local discount store. It was half the price of the, the, what, the other ones that you see the crafters using on the market. And I'm thrilled with it, absolutely thrilled with it. So I've got these little squares now and they this frame just happens to exactly fit the squares that come out of the, the window die. So I squeeze the sides there to get perfect positioning and then apply this little square on top that's actually out of a baby set. I list my supplies down below the video to let you know what everything is. So now all I need to do is put in a sentiment and this is an alo die that I got with my Gemini Junior machine when I bought it. It was part of the bundle and I used blue glitter paper. I stacked it on two layers of card. I adhere that to the front of another card base and I'm done. I put the blocks on the back of it because of the hello. Now, this is my second card and these are squares from the window again with triangles adhered in the top right hand corner with foam tape and I think the dimension it throws a lovely shadow on the card. Now this is how I made the triangles, cutting them out on the edge of my guillotine uh, diagonal, diagonally placed and I get perfect triangles that way. And I have this foam tape in my stash which worked out wonderfully well for me. The tr this is in rectangular shape. The the individual pieces are rectangles and I discovered that if I halved the rectangles, I got perfect squares. And then just by chance, if I halved those squares, I got a perfect rectangle 
for adhering my triangles onto the squares for my pattern. So I was able to make them really, really easily. And as you can see, this is very easy to do. I just make that one to show you how. And then I just kept on going in rainbow order, creating one after the other. And for example, if I had made a red square with an orange triangle, well, then the next one was an orange square with the next color in the rainbow triangle. And I decided to use that hello sentiment. It was nice blocky when I thought it matched the geometric design wonderfully well. You saw me there putting down a, a microfiber cloth under my make art station. I got that tip this week in Jerry's craft room. So now I used, I ended up attaching the make art station ruler to my own steel ruler because this was the perfect way to get stability and to have the 16th of an inch measurement on my ruler so that I could see um, the spacing. I wanted to put two sixteenths in between my pieces. And so I'm going to speed it up now and just let you see how it all came together. Very easily, no problem at all. With the ruler as my guide, I was able to butt the the pieces up against the edge of the ruler and get my spacing perfect. I found it quite exciting as I was going along to see it beginning to take shape. It's so colourful, really stunning. Here I'm slowing it down to let you see that my one of my triangles was crooked and I was actually able to remove it and replace it without damaging either the square or the triangle. And it's still perfectly adhered. It, it would certainly wouldn't come off easily. This Crelando card, coloured cardstock, is very strong, very sturdy. I buy it in the same discount store where I bought my mini die cutting machine. And so that's finished and I am so thrilled with the dimension and how it's looking. Now to uh, back the hello uh, sentiment, I decided to create a, a black background. And by cutting out the, the shape of the die and turning it over, I was then able to get perfect placement for my letters. So it's really easy to just stick down the white letters onto the black background. And I thought that was a perfect match and the black really made the hello pop. And black and white go great with colours. I also decided to create a black background for the panel on my card. And I thought that picked up on the sentiment really well. And so I'm done and very pleased with both of my cards. I think geometric designs are a really fun way to create a card. It's not difficult. You do need patience, but it's a wonderful way to make a card. I hope you enjoyed this video and that maybe you'd give this technique a try. Do come back to Una's Crafty Cards. I would be absolutely thrilled if you would subscribe to my channel. You might like to watch some more of my videos. Would you like this video? That's really important for the success of my channel. And if you would like to talk to me, if you'd like to leave a comment below, I would love to talk to you. Bye for now. All the best. Take care.